Newcastle Chief, Amanda Staveley has already decided how to spend the club's £200 million transfer war chest. Newcastle United owner Amanda Staveley is set to give new manager Eddie Howe a £200 million transfer budget to work with over the next three years without violating financial fair play regulations. That is the seventh highest total in the Premier League, and the club's newfound wealth suggests that the Saudi Lai Consortium will spend as much as possible over the next few seasons in an attempt to propel their side up the table. Eddie Howe was named manager of the Magpies on Monday, putting an end to Staveley's lengthy search. Steve Bruce had previously been given his marching orders, and Graham Jones's brief stint at the helm had failed to produce the elusive league victory. They are currently the only team in the division without a win, having played five draws and six defeats in their first 11 games. That could soon change, with the January transfer window approaching and a change in the dugout injecting new life into the players. According to Sportsmail, Howe and his yet-to-be-appointed sporting director will have £166 million to spend over a three-year period. Early commercial deals are likely to push that figure up to £200 million, putting it in the same league as Arsenal and Manchester United. Former Chelsea technical director Michael Emanolo is still one of the frontrunners to take over as transfer chief, and the January transfer window will be crucial. However, he would be faced with an immediate dilemma as to whether the majority of that money is spent now or delayed until later in the process. Staveley has already spoken out, claiming that the club's spending in the coming years will be focused on the longer term while adhering to FFP rules. That may come as a disappointment to Toon fans who were hoping for a big January match, but it may also cause concern given that Newcastle must avoid relegation at all costs this season after becoming the richest club in the world. Staveley is taking a cautious approach for fear of being backed into a corner in future transfer windows when they inevitably try to bring in more established players. This being said, the likes of Eden Hazard and Usman Dembélé have been linked to St James Park in recent weeks, two superstars who would certainly eat into their budget. A perilous balancing act awaits how and whoever his transfer sidekick ends up being, but Staveley has made her position clear. Newcastle United is deserving of the Premier League title. We'd like to get there. It will take time, but we will arrive in October," she told Sky Sports. We want to see it get those trophies, obviously. At top of the Premier League, in Europe, but to get trophies means patience, investment, time. We want everyone to help us build the club into what it needs to be. We're really excited about strengthening the squad, but we have to work within financial fair play and make sure it's done over time. Thanks for watching, Liverpool News Video, You'll Never Walk Alone.